you took this stuffed animal and chose to splatter paint on it, what would happen? Well, besides making a colorful mess, you'd likely create a shower of liquid droplets ranging drastically in size and distribution. To most, this shower of droplets will appear to be totally random, but to a group of engineers, this shower isn't random at all. In fact, according to them, it's 100% predictable. The ways in which liquids fragment or break up into droplets has interested researchers for decades. And although there have been successful attempts in characterizing liquid fragmentation, they have typically focused on what are known as Newtonian fluids, fluids such as water and oil, which are relatively thin, homogeneous liquids, and not those that are more complex, such as saliva, blood, and paint. However, in a newly published study, a team of MIT engineers show that they can now predict droplet size distribution, including the largest and smallest droplets a liquid could possibly produce, based on one main property, its viscoelasticity, or stickiness. To show how viscoelasticity can affect the distribution of liquid droplets of a specific size, the team set up a series of experiments involving both Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids. For each fluid sample, they did three different tests, first dropping liquids onto a flat surface, then spraying them through a nozzle, and finally forming a liquid spray through two colliding jets. Their experiments showed that in general, thinner Newtonian fluids produced a narrow range of droplet sizes, regardless of the type of experiment performed, whereas viscoelastic fluids had broader distributions, generating larger numbers of both big and small drops. They also noticed that no matter if they were sprayed or dropped, viscoelastic fluids created long ligaments or string-like projections that first stretched, but then eventually broke apart into a range of droplets. In other words, using their mathematical model, the researchers identified the broadest distribution of droplet sizes that any viscoelastic non-Newtonian fluid can possibly exhibit. Having a clearer understanding of fluid fragmentation could help identify optimal fluids for a number of industrial applications that involve complex liquids, like preventing defects in automotive paint jobs, or optimizing the efficacy of fertilizing farm fields via aerial spraying.